Hey friends, um, watch me make the key uh, to talk about the differences between K-selected reproductive strategists and R-selected reproductive strategists. If you say the full uh, title out, people just say K and R species. If you say it out, it kind of maybe helps you remember these are reproductive strategies. Um, and um, what I like to remember is koalas versus roaches. If you can just think, okay, is this statement true of a koala or is this statement true of a roach? That's literally the frame framework I put myself in uh, when I when I do these. So um, <clears throat> let's, let's go with the pictures first. So an, a K selected species, they have really good maternal care one or two babies and are selected like let's lay a bunch of a uh, fish fry or a uh, tadpoles whatever those are and um you know lay them and leave them uh so these guys live a lifestyle that gives them a j-shaped curve so this is a j-shaped curve they have a population explosion and then they have a die-off they have an overshoot and a die-off versus an s-shaped curve by your k selected species so those guys go over here remember these guys are roaches and where's my koalas these guys are koalas okay put yourself in that mindset so another term for this s-shaped curve is called logistic growth that's just what it's called it's a it's a log it's a lag and a log um so that's why it's called that this is exponent so x, x cubed x squared that's exponential growth so again these species this population of these species will have that sort of growth that huge explosion exponential growth um you can see that this mommy has really high parental investment versus like really low amount uh, versus really low parental investment by here in fact sometimes like no parental investment the the offspring don't even know the mom existed um they only have a couple of offspring, these types of species, versus our selected reproductive strategists. Like, let's like a whole bunch. So let's lay a whole bunch of eggs, and let's hope that a couple survive to reproductive age. Versus your case selected, let's have one or two give a lot of investment. They'll take some time to mature to reproductive age versus the, the fish, the frogs. A lot of times, not always, a lot of times, they'll reach uh, reproductive maturity early. And so because of that, these guys typically have a type 3 survivorship curve. Almost all are going to die off. The, the almost all the babies are going to die within the first minutes of their life. Think about all the acorns you step on. Um, versus these guys have a type one survivorship curve. The ones that are born will probably live that first year, the second year, the third year, and they'll die of old age. So um, memorize this chart. Uh, look, use this chart as feedback, and um, this will help you um, on the test, on the AP test. Um, and I guess in life, is this that important to know in life? Mm, not, um, but it's definitely important to know on the um, exam. I hope this helped. Rewatch the video, make sure I did it right, and um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scout. Boop.